Welcome back to VLAS Elan tutorials. My name is Jakob and my name is Chris. And now we will show you how you can export your work from Elan to a traditional uh, text format in Word. Yes. To do this, we go to File and we use Export As. And as you can see, there's a lot of different ways to export your files, uh, but we're going to focus on traditional transcripts so that we'll choose interlinear text. And this brings up this window. And as you can see, you have your uh, transcript on your left side and you have a variety of different possibilities to adjust your transcript on the right side. Uh, first of all, you have your tiles. You can select uh, the different tiles you want to include uh, in your transcript. Here we will stick with McCain and the interviewer. And then we can uh, take off some of the other uh, functions. Yes. And here you can see show tier label, that's the McCain and interviewer. And you can also see that in the preview window, which is McCain and interviewer. So each time we've annotated an interviewer, uh, the interview will have its own section. Then there's the show time codes, and you can choose between three different. We recommend you stick with the hour, minute, second, millisecond for a better overview. And the time code is underneath with the label TC. Yeah. And then we have also included uh, silence duration, so you can get uh, an exact measure uh, of silence between uh, the speaker's turns. And that is also marked with an SD uh, um, in your transcript window. And you can see there's a 1.65 uh, silence duration between these two turns. Yes. And finally, you can uh, select uh, how the transcript is actually presented. And here we stick with uh, some of the default uh, setups uh, with 100. Uh, but we want, uh, you can select different ways of wrapping uh, your uh, transcript. Yes. And just to preview some of the others, we can choose no wrapping and apply changes. And you can see the preview window and the exported text file will change accordingly. But we recommend sticking with each block um, because this brings up the traditional transcript file that we yeah. want to use. And finally, we want to take up tabs instead of spaces in order to have a, a, a larger uh, room between uh, the uh, identifier, but also what we transcribe. So if you take up tabs yes. uh, instead of spaces and click update. update. Yep. Yep. And then we press save as, and you give the text file a name. And we'll just call it transcript to yes. us, anyways. And then save. And in order to view how this actually looks, we can go and find our new transcript exportation, which is here. And uh, since this is saved as a .txt file, you might need to uh, right-click it and say open with Microsoft Word. Uh, if you're on a PC, and this brings up Word with your transcript file. And as you can see, it has a very nice blocked layout, and you have the time codes and the silence durations with the transcript and the labels. And now the, the, the real work starts of, of, of for adjusting your transcript. This is a very rough transcript, but now you can start adding uh, line numbers uh, and uh, uh, embodied actions as well. We just want to show you a, a nice feature in Elan in order to, to make uh, frame grabs. If we just play the video a little bit, you can now see that we have zoomed in on the video. Normally it is on 100% and you can see the full picture. Uh, but if you zoom in again, Chris, yes. to for instance 150, you will get a close-up uh, of, of the picture. The nice thing about Elan is that you can also play uh, your video uh, while zoomed in, which, which can uh, serve as a very nice uh, way of transcribing uh, embodied interactions. Uh, if you right click on the photo once again, you can see that we can uh, save current frame as an image. And if we do that, we can say that this is uh, uh, McCain uh, 1, and we hit enter. And now we go to our folder and we will see uh, the photo extracted from that particular frame. Yes. So that's also a way that you can build up your transcript 
and include uh, multimodal stuff uh, through pictures. Yeah. So this was some of the basic uh, ways, or one of the basic ways of uh, exporting your data to a transcript uh, in Word, which you can then work on afterwards. Next up, we will show you a bit about controlled vocabularies, uh, but this is it for now. See you soon. See you.